right, welcome to this edition of Tesla Time Out. And today is the day that I'm going to uh, upgrade my suspension or change my suspension on my Model 3. As you've heard me when I did my review of my own car in the last episode, I did say that to me, the suspension's a little stiff. I'm here with Jesse at Mountain Pass Performance. How are you, Jesse? Good, how are you? Good, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. In it's this. my pleasure. It's only like 40 degrees Celsius or something here today as we're baking. But I wanted to just take a couple minutes to introduce you guys. You guys do a lot of stuff for just Tesla only. Tell me a little bit more about Mountain Pass. Uh, Mountain Pass was founded just a few years ago. Um, we started off with a lot of race car preparation, tuning, uh, touring car campaigns. Um, dyno tuning and then we found that uh, the Model 3 was announced and it was really cool so once we found out about the Model 3 we we got invested in that we ordered one right away uh, we started making parts and it just kind of snowballed from there and now we're lucky enough to be able to do this full-time I had I, you know, I as I said to me the suspension stiff I explained why so I, I doing some research and, and talk to these guys probably talked your ear off more than anybody else um, and decided for me to settle on the comfort uh, coil over set. And can you explain the difference between that and the sport for listeners? For sure. Uh, so we have a couple versions of our coilovers. Uh, probably the most popular one will be the comfort kit. The comfort kit will allow you to lower the car as much as you'd like. You know, I, I get people asking how low it can go. The answer is lower than you can drive it. Yeah. Um, the spring rates are softer technically softer than the stock suspension, but you'll still get improved body roll, improved brake dive, uh, and just all around a more composed ride. So you can even take it to the track with a comfort kit. It won't be as good as a sports kit, but right. still much better than stock. Right. And the sport is adjustable, right? Or they both come in That's adjustable right. versions? So the sport kit is adjustable. Uh -huh. You have uh, height. All of our kits have height adjustment. Yep. The sport kit has compression and rebound adjustment. Right. It also has uh, stiffer spring rates and stiffer damper valving. And we do have a comfort adjustable kit, uh, which is in the same price range as a sports kit. So it's this one here, same softer spring rates, uh, but also you have the addition of compression rebound damping adjustment. Um, but for a lot of people, they just want to install it on the car and not think about it. And that's where this non-adjustable kit comes into play. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it kind of you know fills all the different gaps there. Quality products, it's all KW from Germany stuff, right. right? Yeah. yeah. So you guys engineered it, really quality, high quality products. So uh, again, thank you for uh, working with me to get this kit. They gave me a very, very small discount. So that's why I'm doing this show as a promotion of them. I know it's tough, the margins are lean, so I get it, it's okay. You know, anything I can do to help promote you guys uh, and you know, promote what's out there for not just Tesla, but other communities, but I know you guys just do, you just do stuff for the three and Y, correct today? That's right, and yeah. you know, We've got a Cybertruck and a, a yep. Rivian on order, and we'll see which one gets here first, and if yep. we can uh, think of any cool parts. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna take this to another company uh, later on this week to get it installed, and I'll do a quick video when I'm there. But again, thanks Jesse and Mountain Pass for all your uh, technical advice, um, and best of luck and continued success with these kits. Thanks so much for your support. No problem. So I'm just heading down to the uh, uh, garage to get my suspension installed from MPP. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. It came in this big box, as you saw earlier. And I'll try to show you some of the items here, but it's pretty, pretty well packed. It's, it's all foamed and then sealed. So when it's shipped from Germany, it's very, very well packed. And as you can see, you've got uh, some of the struts here, all nicely made by KW in Germany. Uh, then you have the strut assembly with the spring here. Again, all nicely machined and forged. Really, really nice uh, solid quality with the springs back here. And uh, everything is just, I don't want to open it all up because I want to leave it so that all the pieces are intact. But as you can see, it's a really high quality product. Anyway, nice packaging, very, very uh, uh, clean packaging as far as keeping it safe. And uh, now I'm on my way to the garage. So let's go check that out. So I took my vehicle to a shop called Evolution. They're based in Toronto and Tito is the president and owner of the company and Bruno is his top guy. Um, they do a lot of Teslas at this shop and they're also one of the sponsors for the Tesla Owners Club of Ontario. Um, as you can see by the pictures, they have a really nice shop here. And um, in fact, they do so much Tesla business. He, he purchased another unit next to him and built a separate garage <laughs> adjoining just for the Teslas, as you can see. And, and the week that I was there, this was brand new. They finished painting and put in these lifts here for, for the Tesla. So it was quite nice. Um, here's a couple of pictures of my vehicle that's up on the hoist as they're installing the Mountain Pass Performance 
um, kits and uh, took them about four to five hours to do a good install, then a quick test drive. And um, then I went back about a week later or to get a all wheel alignment done. So that's all part of the pricing package that they gave me to install this. Uh, they did a great job. I certainly encourage you to reach out to Tito at Evolution. And if you need any work done in your Tesla, they can do a lot of stuff. Just wanted to wrap up this episode quickly with my driving impressions of the suspension change. I can tell you that there is a big difference that I felt in this suspension change. The car is much more manageable. Um, it's much uh, more pleasant vehicle to drive going over bumps. You don't get the jar, uh, the jarring sensations that you do with the stock suspension. Uh, it absorbs the bumps better and the rebound is much more uh, taken care of so it's a much more comfortable ride this is really the suspension in my opinion that tesla should be shipping with this vehicle and allowing some people to you know put sports stuff and, and stuff for track that's what they want so this is the suspension i think the car should have come with but it's made a big difference in the drivability it's a much more pleasant vehicle to drive i have had some family members that have been getting nauseous in this vehicle every time i take them out we did a trip last weekend where we did a lot of driving for about three or four hours and nobody got sick. It was a much more pleasant experience for them. So to me that that shows that the suspension has made a drastic change in the way that the vehicle absorbs the bumps and the uh, imperfections in the roadways and all that stuff and deals with them in a much more pleasant manner. Also, the car feels um, smoother. That's the only word I can think of. It's a very smooth vehicle to drive, still planted, and it sounds quieter. I, whether the bumps and stuff had anything to do with that, I don't know. But to me, the vehicle sounds quieter. Uh, it's much more refined. And this is, again, the way it should have come. So big thanks to Mountain Pass Performance for guiding me. I asked a ton of questions. They spent a lot of time, Jesse and the team over there, and answering them. I appreciate it. Um, again, I'm doing this as a... As a something I wanted to do in my vehicle for quite some time and they gave me an extremely small discount so I want to thank them for that but these things aren't cheap so it's something that you need to consider if you're going to do a suspension change look at your budget and see if it's right for you it was very right for me I plan on keeping this car for many many years so it's something that I wanted for the long haul and I'm very very satisfied with this absolutely great job in this uh, in the design and the execution of this product these products for the suspension kit change also a big thank you and a shout out to evolution to tito bruno and the team over there you guys did a fantastic job you treated me really nicely um did a great install it took your time did it right and uh you know even going back for the uh, for the all-wheel alignment was a very fast uh, affair as well. You guys do a great professional job. I encourage people in the GTA to go check them out if you need any work done in your Tesla. Give them a call. Let them know I sent you. They'll help you out. So thanks, guys, for that. Up down from New York City. 